So let's look at how we can use the gradient tool with a layer mask. And what this is going to enable us to do is basically merge two images together okay, in a montage. And again, keeping it really editable. Everything is going to be completely undoable and redoable with everything that we're going to do here. Okay, so I'm starting off. I've just opened up two images. So again, they're tabbed up in the top here in Photoshop. I've got one image there and another image here. So I'm going to put them both into the same document. Apply a layer mask using the gradient tool so I can gradually merge these two images together. So let's choose one of these images. So again, by default, when I open up just a normal JPEG, it's locked as a background. So it's just double click and click OK there. So I've got this as a layer. So what I want to do now is just look at the size of this image and change the canvas size because basically I want to fit another image next to it and merge them together. So let's go to image. First of all, let's go to image size. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So actually, this is a pretty good size here. Look, 300 pixels per inch, and it's a nice size. So that's okay. Let's just click OK on that. So this time, I want to change the size of the canvas because I want to fit another image next to it. So let's go to image, canvas size, and I want to make it wider. Okay, but what I want to do is change the anchor from where I'm making it wider. So for the minute, if I make it wider here, it's going to make it wider right and left. But I just want it to go to the right so I can fit another image on the side. So let's click here. Let's make this about twice the size. So let's put this as 60 centimeters. Click. OK. So you can see there, it's not made any difference to my image. It's just made my canvas a lot wider. If I go to my normal move tool, again, I've got my layer. I can move around and position in there. Okay, so let's go to my other image that I want to merge. Let's click on this one. So I'm just going to select all of this. So again, a way of doing that, select all or control and A, which I'll do the shortcut, control and A, edit, copy, in the new one, edit, paste. I'm going to click OK there, just to paste it in. So I've got the two images next to each other, side by side. Now, so what essentially what I'm going to be doing is hiding part of this image on top. Okay, so I want to have a bit of an overlap here. So this is going to gradually going to hide into showing this layer here. Okay, or again I can move it around. Let's change the stacking order actually. Let's do it on this layer here. So I'm basically going to gradually going to hide a part of this layer to reveal this layer behind. And again, this using this gradient tool that I'm going to do. So again, just looking at my layers, make sure I've got my stacking order correct. I'm happy with that. Okay, so this layer zero I've got above, I'm going to apply a layer mask first. So let's just click on the little layer mask button. And again, it's important when working with masks that we've got the mask selected. Make sure I've got the little mask next to it selected here. Let's make these a bit bigger. Just make my thumbnails a little bit bigger in my layers panel so we can see a bit easier what's going on in here. Okay, so I'm choosing that layer mask. And I'm coming over to my gradient tool. Okay, so just like the last exercise, I'm going to choose my gradient tool. And what I want is to change it from being foreground to background to foreground to transparent. Okay, so this gradient is going to go from solid to transparent. Okay, so I choose that. Because I've got a layer mask selected, okay, it will go to automatically go to black because the layer mask, the color is irrelevant. Okay, we're just putting in solid pixels. So, foreground to transparent. Okay, choose my layer mask. Got my gradient tool selected. So let's just click and draw a line there. Okay, oh, wrong way. Let's go the other way. Sorry, click that way. And drag there so you can see I'm applying the layer mask and it's a gradual tint. So this go back to my move tool on this layer looks so I'm gradually on my layer here look got a gradual merge into that other layer. Okay, and I can even if I've once I've made the layer mask, okay. 
I can edit it using it any other way that I've made. So if I want to just kind of tweak this round a little bit, let's grab the layer mask, select it, choose my brush tool, just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so you can see now I can actually paint in the layer mask manually as well if I want this clock face to be more visible. Okay, so I started with the gradient tool. I'm actually tweaking it round with the other tools. As long as I've got the mask selected, I'm just really editing the solid pixels on that mask to show and hide what I want. So again, this is a really good way of just merging images together in a non-destructive manner because all this can be undone. Look, right click, disable my layer mask. I've still got all those pixels enabled. I can even just select the layer mask, do Control and A, press backspace, it deletes it there, back to where I started. Select the layer mask again, go back into my gradient tool and start it again. Okay, do it at different angles and all sorts. Okay, so the really layer masks do become really powerful when you start to understand all the different ways that you can actually use them.